How important is granular fertilizer placement to your crop's performance? To find out, we planted vincas into a root box, which is just a simple clear box that allows us to track root growth in addition to the foliar growth, and looked at four granular fertilizer application methods. We used dibbling, incorporation, subdress, and top dress. What you'll see here today is the performance results we got from those different applications. So what are we talking about when we talk about the different application methods? When we're talking about top dress, we have a pot like this. This is our soil. And we come in and we sprinkle the fertilizer on top of the soil. Pretty self-explanatory. That's top dress. Subdress is like this. And we fill up the pot about halfway with soil. We sprinkle our fertilizer on the top. We put our plant in on top of that. And then we fill up the rest of the pot with more soil. The plant rests on a line of fertilizer about halfway down. When it comes to incorporation, this usually happens at your soil plant. And what they do is they mix the soil with your fertilizer. So as you fill the pot with soil, the fertilizer is evenly distributed all the way throughout the soil profile. The last one, dibbling, is where you take and you fill your soil in the pot. You stick your plant in like this. And then you poke a hole down into the soil and fill that with fertilizer almost in a column like this. The plant roots get to go down and they can reach out and access the fertilizer as they go. And those are our four fertilizer application methods. These four plants were chosen as representative samples of each trial plot. The first one here you can see was from the top dress application. Plot number two is from the subdress application. Third was a full 100% incorporation rate. Last but not least was the dibbling method. The first three methods produce nearly identical plants, while the incorporated plant trial, this one here, actually the plant did take off and start growing and produce roots faster than the other two. This one produced significantly more biomass above the soil line and longer, sturdier roots beneath. This isn't to say that the dibbling method is correct for you or an endorsement for every plant and every application. It's just one more example of something a grower has control over to provide better growth and a more profitable plant.